Are you waiting to get your airbag fixed after that massive Takata airbag recall? Well, you may be wondering what the company's recent bankruptcy filing means for you. The Let Joe you Know team has some answers. At least 16 deaths have been blamed on exploding airbags from the faulty inflators. Parts can't be made fast enough for the 46 million replacements. In fact, only 35% have been repaired. So how will Takata's bankruptcy affect your repairs? Well, things go as planned, not much, if you're on the recall list. 70% of the replacement inflators are made by other companies, but millions of recalls are still set to take place and more faulty inflators could be discovered later. In those cases, automakers may have to pay for those themselves. The bankruptcy should not affect people who are part of the $125 million Victims' Compensation Fund. It's still being established. Unfortunately, more people could be added since so many drivers can't get their replacements. Different story if you're suing or want to sue. Bankruptcy puts a hold on lawsuits. You can still sue automakers since ultimately they are responsible for what they sell. It may be tough to win if they blame Takata for the issues. The Let Joe Know bottom line, if you're on the recall list, continue to push to get that recall repair done as soon as possible. And if you didn't get a notice, go to abc15.com, click on sections and let Joe know just to make sure you're not on that list. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you've got a problem, let me know.